press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi, I'm Som Prakash Rai, and today here I'm uh, something about to explain you about the what is the training training and internship. We should understand first because already it is the summer train. So what exactly you should do in this summer? What exactly you should do in order to get the proper or good internship in a good companies? First thing is that you need to check what knowledge you have. If you don't have the proper knowledge on any proper programming languages and being a CS student, being an MCS student or whatever the BTEC you are doing, it is very, very tough to get it. So I'll just take two minutes less than that to explain you internship. Internship is something like that you are going to work in a company and company that particular company is going to pay you in return to that work whatever you are doing it for that corresponding period of time for the complete or for that corresponding project right. But suppose if any company is deploying you on any specific project if any company is deploying you on any specific project so what they will make sure that you have the proper knowledge of that corresponding concepts programming languages and then only they can hire you in that if something you are not aware with some of the tools and all things that they can uh, make you learn and then you will be having the real time exposure but thing is that that when it is possible when you can get this summer internship summer internship you can only and only get that if you have the proper programming knowledge and something like that if you have then only it is possible for you to get that right if you don't have the proper knowledge of on all, all these things then it is very very difficult to get the summer internship which is a paid internship from the companies right you i'm not saying like you are going to pay somewhere and no i'm doing some internship and you are taking certificates and all sort of things i'm not talking about that now what my suggestion to you all what my suggestion what i suggest to you all for the summer internship summer internship is like as uh, you have this 45 days of time so if you have this 45 days of time, so let's make this as a summer training. Summer training. In this summer training, approximately, what is there? Like you have around, you can say that is the 45 days of time you have, right? 45 days of time. So here, if any, uh, means if wherever you are doing uh, some kind of training and all, you are trying to learn something. So in that if you don't have any leaves then you have the 45 days time right so even if you say this this 45 days of time is very very less in that from my point of view now what things we are going to do is first here that at least you complete any programming language some of the programming language like here at least that is the core java you are doing plus something called as the advanced java you are doing right second one either you are doing the python plus some more things you are doing some frameworks of the python you can do frameworks of the python like many are there django is there and some api is there right tensorflow and all things is there so that is especially and third one if Hadoop is there, big data Hadoop is there if you are the fresher you are just a beginner right you are the BTEC student my suggestion is at present don't go for this one don't go for the Hadoop and all uh, other th these training kind of programs at present you just focus either this one or this one and that too also in this summer time try to complete at least core plus advanced java and now in the case of core java i'll explain you about the what we are going to offer you in the core and advanced java and what we are going to offer you in the case of python and how much time we are going to take it out here right so if what I'm trying to say you here if you have the proper knowledge of these all technologies either this or this these two are the different different kinds of technology right so if you have the proper knowledge of all these technology then if you apply in any company as for the internship then easily you can get but without knowledge if you are trying to get some internship in any company it will be very very difficult for you so in this summer training in this summer training what we have planned in order to give you the proper knowledge of all these things just uh, i'll explain it here in this 45 days of time what we plan we think that 
two hours or one point five hours is very very less time. So what we are planning is that number one is Monday to Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday every day every day four hours of class every day four hours of class Monday to Friday four hours of class either you are going for the Java or you are going for the Python or whatever technologies you are going for on all these things or you are going for the Android right on all these things four hours class we have per day four hours class we are having the per day four hours class we are having right so then only we will be able to complete here so the latest things what we are going to cover is the seven eight nine and again inside this that ten the complete version of java seven eight nine ten plus associated with this now here in the case of jdbc jdbc servlet plus jsp and based on that, these all things, one project we will do. One project we will do so that at least you will be having the complete understanding which and how we are going to use. Right? And that is what we are, our purpose of doing the summer training is. Associated with all these things, we will try to make you some of the learning of some small, small tools. Like you can say, Maven and all other things, JUnit. Right, and like many other things are there that we will try to explain and uh, try to. So, according to me, in this in this summer training, instead of focusing that to earn something from somewhere, focus on learning process. Try to learn the things as much as possible. And if you are able to learn the things in a proper manner, if you are learning the things in a proper manner, right, and then that all things will reflect in your resume. So, what I mean to say indirectly is. First, build your resume properly, which means that you should do something like at least it should give some weightage to your resume. It should enhance your technical skills. And once the technical skills is improved, anywhere, anyone can offer you even job also as well as internship also. And after your BTEC, you will be easily able to get the job. But if you are focused from the BTEC or MCA itself, then only it is going to be possible in that. So in this video, just what I'm trying to explain is internship is something different. Training is something different. But if you don't have proper training, then it is very, very tough to get the internship. So let's focus complete on the internship programs, right? And here in JTC, uh, for this summer training, we are starting a proper training program by keeping the mind of project specific training that is on the Java as well as on the Python as well as on the Android right and in the Python also machine learning artificial intelligence deep learning neural networks all these sort of things we have included in our uh, Python syllabus also and for the Java again it is from the uh, different enterprise application kind of things which we have included in the project here so if you are learning the things properly here then definitely it will be very very easy even in your campus placements also as well as to get somewhere in some companies good internship we will be helping you all in that process also right so yes if you have and, and more important thing is that like what we are starting is here in the june first week you can say june first week depending on many colleges having different different exams so in noida what we are doing is we are starting batch of 10 am to 10 am to 2 pm one batch we are starting that is for the different different even for the core java also the core java as well as the advanced java and then second one is the for the Python also we are going to start in that right so this is the particular timing we are going to start 10 to 2 in between that you will be having the break also and that is the core java as well as the advanced java with the complete real time projects yes after the 2 pm we will be even having the model something like you will be sitting in the lab and you will be doing the practices with the different different models and different different kinds of programs and some practices with the different sheets we will be giving to you so this is what we have planned for the summer training right thank you